Live, hello everyone, and welcome to the program Health Guide on Global Television. I am Samuel Odi, and I'm sitting in or standing in, I would say, for my friend and colleague Queen Agaba, who is unavoidably upset to, you know, host your daily um, health program. So today we'll be looking at life balance, and again, most persons complain a lot about lower back pains and back pains. Mostly, it all comes from. Um, long hours of sitting, sitting posture, probably your kind of bed and all. But today we're going to be discussing and then elaborating on the causes of all of these back aches that refuses to go. And I have a doctor who will be doing justice to that, who is a primary healthcare physician, Dr. Omoye Arito. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on today's um, program. My so, pleasure. Thank it, you, so you know, much. in a whole lot of persons have been having issues of back pain That's and correct. all. So, like, what are the basic causes of this? All right. Thank yes. you so much. That's actually a great question. Mm -hmm. You know, like right now, you know, back pain issues are almost like eighty percent of the population are mm -hmm. actually come, you know, have come down with this issue of back pain, actually mm -hmm. low back pain issue, yeah. right? So, there are actually, so many causes, right? Mm -hmm. We have the traumatic causes. Maybe you've had a a traumatic incident before like a car accident mm -hmm. you know that you're able to have like a kind of blunt trauma on your spine mm -hmm. or you fall from a height if any any high impact kind of incident can actually cause you know it, it happens first of all with a shift of one of the vertebra like these bones that are here called vertebra, vertebra right? yes. so once this particular accident occurs it could cause a shift of one of the bony structures or called vertebra okay. in fact the full spine on its own right mm -hmm. for us the spine is in like most important skeleton in the human body okay. because it houses the seat of the central okay. nervous system. It okay. houses the spinal cord mm -hmm. and also the spinal nerves emanate from it, right? Okay. So, so such incidents, like a traumatic incident, a mm -hmm. car accident, a fall from a height, mm -hmm. and all, any kind of, you know, impact trauma could cause it. Mm -hmm. But after, the, apart from those, um, like, traumatic incidents, it yeah. does have what we call other, like, uh, micro traumas that okay. could happen as a result of uh, wear and tear, mm -hmm. like your, maybe due to some speci specific professional life that people's lives just like gymnasts say. yeah it could be gymnasts it could, okay. be, it could be a professional people that always sit in a particular chairs and slouch forward mm -hmm. you, you know what we call general postural mal hygiene okay. you understand you don't sit properly you don't lie down properly you don't lie on the right mattresses properly mm -hmm. you carry you know carry weights on your body in the wrong ways you understand yeah. so all of those micro traumas will accumulate over time mm -hmm. and could also cause the same effect that's a shifting of any of these bony structures are covered in the mm. in the full spine okay so now how do we prevent you know all of these back pains in the society like you rightly mentioned even That's not correct. just um older people even younger guys you Absolutely. know are also always complaining about lower back aches so what are the basic things that can be done to you know prevent um all of this Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, it used to be like an um, like an aging disease, right? Yes. As you're growing older, older your yes. joints start to degenerate, mm -hmm. and you know, just general the way we have other like other joint arthritis, arthritis also have yes. the spinal arthritis. Mm -hmm. But as we've seen it now, many young people are coming down with the same back pain, mm -hmm. even as young as twelve years old, or even, even younger than that, right? Yeah. So the, 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 the things apart from genetic predispositions that mm -hmm. could you know could result to that, all of these aspects. This is our digital world right now mm -hmm. in this day and age. Everything mm -hmm. is micro, like young. On the phone, yeah. your, your gadgets, yeah. and then the, we don't have these regulatory systems in workplaces that help you to get what we call sp specific healthy ergonomic chairs, chairs yeah. like proper chairs. There are specific chairs that are actually healthy for your spine. Mm. Most times, um, we don't check these things. So most of the ch you know chairs are contributing to that because you sit as a professional person. Yeah. You're sitting on those chairs for almost. The, um, the most of your time, time. of the day, mm -hmm. right? When the, the posterior hygiene, I talk about even the beds that people sleep. People feel maybe sometimes some people feel so comfy or com, you know comfortable in um, fluffy okay. beds, yeah. and they feel ah this is so cozy and comfy. But any bed that allows your body to indent inside mm -hmm. when you get up, you know it's not healthy for you. So the firmer the beds are when they carry take your weights and. Um, the, the way you get up from the, the bed, bed you, yeah. your, your body doesn't dent inside. So we call them orthopedic beds okay. or at least semi-orthopedic. Mm. So all of these things, these factors contribute to it. Like a little child now that going to the school carrying a heavy a you know, backpack yes. that is like you know like one stranded, for example, one stranded mm. handbag. handbag. The weight is so much on one side against side. the other. Mm. Over time, yeah, it will cause a strain in all those muscles that you know even surround the spine mm. and even the spine itself. Mm. So there are so many factors. Are young people right now, especially the gadgets, the 
the bed. That we tend to, you know, yeah. bend a lot and exactly. then use. Okay, you know, yeah. you know, you just hit a major key point now about what causes this, and then you know we're still going to get to how to prevent it. So I'm also going to say um suffering from back pain. I play, oh, I, I, <laughs> I play a lot of basketball, see, and I think a few years that was like in 2017. I okay. I felt so bad, okay. and then though. I had a few massages and all of that, and mm -hmm. then it felt better for like two, three years. Yeah. But now it like it came back again. So I don't know what can I do now. Maybe exercise. Maybe probably something I could just do in the comfort of my home that okay. would help me feel much better. Okay, that's a great question. Yes, I think the first thing I would say just to if you're still currently feeling the pain, mm -hmm. you're still feeling the pain right now, right? Yes, yes, yes. So slightly. It, it comes and goes. Comes and goes mm. actually. So I'll, I'll, first of all, I just recommend that you mm. just go you know get, do a radiological investigation just to rule out you understand yeah. any 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 structure any mouth structure mm -hmm. within your vertebra yeah. if there's any shift or if uh, any features of uh, what we call osteophytes because they are, they are well, well, these things happen if it happened a couple of years back mm -hmm. your, your body immediately that trauma occurred the first time it occurred yeah your body actually registered it as an injury immediately even mm -hmm. when you're not aware uh, yeah whenever there's any traumatic traumatic thing on the body, the mm -hmm. body naturally registers it as an injury. Then it starts a process of trying to join, join. the vertebra, that's the bone structure mm -hmm. above the affected one and then the one below the affected one. They tend to want to pull themselves together. together yeah. More like, I think it wants to save itself, mm -hmm. keeping them like, so don't, don't, I don't want to hurt me anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in the process of doing that, it's actually degenerative. It doesn't help it to really heal. Mm -hmm. It goes what, like, what we call like a downward spiral. So uh, over time, your, your body will keep on degenerating mm -hmm. unless something is done about it. So at this point, it's good for us to see. see. If from the radiological evaluations or the reports, I'll be able to know, okay, yeah, this thing has it really affected your, you know, your, your, your bone structure and mm -hmm. all of those. But if that, if that is settled, if there's no other, like, if, if you can see, like, visible structural changes, Change, yes. there could be a soft tissue, um, what they call damage, okay. you understand, which... There are wonderful home, you know, home therapies. You could do home remedies. Is, yeah. Apart from, you know, take yourself off of those um, aggravating factors. factors. Talk about the postural hygiene measures. Mm -hmm. You should take them seriously, right? Mm -hmm. You change your beds and everything. That's all cost good, wonderful spinal flexibility okay. stretches okay. that you should do every morning when you wake up yeah. and at night before you sleep. Okay. Those stretches is not so much of how strenuous is the consistency, consistency right? Okay. And should not cause you pain while you're doing any of those stretches. Mm. So there are specific ones out there that will help you, you know, kind of open up the, the your, your, your muscle tissues, tissues yes. and increase circulation over the area. Even animals do it. You know, when you, you have, you have pets or dogs in yeah. the house, maybe they wake up, they naturally they stretch. stretch yes. That's a natural innate thing that God has put to so everybody that has been, you know, you've been so like, um, dormant for like eight hours of now when you sleep. So waking up, you your bone naturally stretch. has to stretch to mm. increase circulation. Okay. And apart from other, you know, manual therapies that could still help you, like a kind of uh, facial release uh, massage therapy, therapy, which also helps in case the, if the body is still very sore, so. it increases circulation in the area. Mm -hmm. It also helps even detoxification occurs simultaneously mm. while circulation is increasing in the muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. Any other thing that needs to flush out that maybe has accumulated over time because you don't even know whether there was any blood, any um, blood vessel tear rupture. So many things, but the X-rays definitely is our first, first. point of call. Okay, um, yeah. we'll be going on a very quick break, and then when we come back, health guide continues as we begin to extray the preventive measures that we we'll need to take in case you're having this lower back aches. We'll be right back. Please do stay with us. The challenge of keeping track of health matters can be extremely demanding. Follow the latest health tips and trends on Health Guide on Global Television on Tuesday at 3 p.m. Health Guide on Global Television. Put your health first.
Many thanks for staying with us. And if you're just joining us, this is Health Guide on Global Television. My name is Samuel Lodi, and I'm sitting or standing in for my friend and colleague, Queen Agaba, who is unavoidably absent. So we've been having an interesting conversation with Dr. Omar about um, lifestyle and lower back aches, the basic things you need to do, and then the reasons why most persons have this back pain. She made mention of, you know, your bed, and then if your bed is a type that you lay on, and then it takes you deep inside, I think it's high time you, you change it and get an automatic bed or semi-autopedic bed. Absolutely. So I'm no scientist, so you just have to take it easy with me with those. <laughs> yes. So now let's, let's move on. You know, a whole lot of um, trend now is going on with chiropractors, you know, trying to stretch out. And whenever I see stuff like that on the social media, like I get interested and I want my body cracked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my body cracked too because I see the result afterwards. So what major role do they play in terms of helping heal the lower back area? Well, thank you so much. You know, mm -hmm. chiropractic is like, um, it's not so common actually uh, you know, in this part of the world. Of the world. Yes. But it's so vital. Like it's so important. In fact, only chiropractors that deal with any spinal related issue they are the primary people to meet mm. when it has to do with spinal conditions right mm -hmm. you know um we, we it's not just the cracking it's mm. you have to be a professional it's to be a, able to know the exact place to pull to pull exactly yes. they are proper they are physicians first mm. of all mm -hmm. before they are chiropractors let me okay. use that word right okay. so they understand the human body the human anatomy the human physiology mm. and also the biochemistry right okay. so all the um the mechanics of the human body they understand it i'm actually a medical doctor a medical pr practitioner sure. Okay. And also more like um, an, both an orthodox practitioner and an alternative practitioner, so okay. more like an integrative practitioner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now um, you, you understand the, there's a way the spine is right. Mm -hmm. The chiropractors um, they've been trained. Yes. This 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 structure is just a dry skeleton. As yes. I said, this is the spine. The, yes. The full spine. The spine mm. developed into several sec segments. We have. The I can see cervical. different colors. Exactly. Yes. This first part is the neck. It's more like we call that the cervical spine. Okay. Made up of seven of these vertebrae, these bony the structures, yes. right? We call them from C1 all down to C7, seven, right? Yes. Now after C7, this is the neck region. Okay. It, all the nerves that emanate from this region, they mm -hmm. supply your whole neck, your shoulder joint, all down to your upper extremities, to your fingers. fingers okay. you know, so so, so oh. if you could, some people could complain of neck pain, pain sometimes it radiates down to their fingers or they feel tingly sensation Makes because sense. Makes exactly, sense. Yeah. if the nerve in this area is impinged upon or compressed or even strangled in any form, mm -hmm. it causes a pain in that area or wherever that nerve was supposed to supply. Right? Supply, yes. So after the cervical spine, we have the thoracic spine. Mm -hmm. This area here, there are twelve of those bony structures that make up the thoracic spine. Yes. This blue color, Colors. blue area. Yeah. Yeah. After, luckily, the thoracic spine is actually hinged upon by the ribs in your front. So mm -hmm. they, are, they are the least affected when it comes to trauma and all of those okay. things. But they're kind of protected by the ribs. ribs okay. right? So the major areas are affected to trauma is the cervical region and this lower region here, this green part, yeah. called the lumbar spine. The small low back pain. I can, here comes. I can relate. Absolutely. That's actually the exact spot where. Very very common. I yeah, most exactly. times I find it hard to even go all the way down. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so, so what? I kind of exercise now can be done to like yeah, help to heal this that part of the body because it's very very strategic okay very good question it's good yeah. to know why you're feeling the pain you mm -hmm. know i thought this is the low back area the yeah. lower spine mm -hmm. made up of these five bones if you can look closely you see this mm -hmm. red uh, yes. structure yeah this mm -hmm. is a disc bulging there's a person more like in between these bony structures we have intervertebral discs that are acting as cushioning materials Mater okay. in between they help to cushion the joint surfaces okay. it nourishes and also um um, um lubricates this um, marginal mm -hmm. surface so they don't go through what they call contact mm -hmm. wear and tear okay. so what made it is made of a, a more more liquid in it than mm -hmm. ever it gives even increase it helps the length of the full spine actually okay. so when this issue happens like a trauma like as you had this yeah. you know the your spots it happened most sports people as well right yes was that um, initial shift occurred mm. because I told the body start reacting to so that initial shift. shift. Registers as an injury, then it wants to help itself. Mm. So that pulling effect tends to press, compress upon the disc that is in between in the one affected. Okay. So it could cause the substance to push out, mm -hmm. like bulge out, out of the normal place where it should be. Yeah. And then you see this nerve root, this this uh, area, area is yes. 
So from this, this particular hyalinated, this hyalinated disc structure can actually impinge yeah. or retain the nerve. So when, if you, if you, when, by the time you've gone your full history, your history. physical examination, and of yeah. course your radiological ve ve evaluation, if you realize that it's a, a matter of this body, or if some people, it could not be just, it may not just be this body, where and see it, it has become a chronic okay. phase. That degeneration happens at the edges, mm. you know, starts to thin out, and then you lose the natural curvature that is here that we call the normal lordosis, mm -hmm. this co co mad convexity in front here, and my concavity. Mm -hmm. So understanding where your problem is, is. because not everybody's situation is not the same. The same yeah. But once you look at it, uh, the radiological evaluation you can tell. Mm -hmm. So there are series of different the chiropractic. Yeah. It's a specialized treatment modality that has to do with manually adjusting your spine yes. to bring it back to, back normal, to normal morphology like the way it should be. Mm. You know, it's not just, it's not a random cracking, cracking right? It's yes. specialized. It's when that strain on the spine, you know, uh, anatomy mm. and even the spine, uh, you know, the, the whole physiology around it. Yes. So that specialized modality, it sends a message. Once the adjustment commences, it sends a message to the CNS okay. to stop the stop what it was doing. Right. Initially, it was doing something wrong. It actually wanted to help itself, mm -hmm. but you know how to go about it. Okay. Normally, if you cut your skin, mm -hmm. I use that analogy. If you cut your skin, there's a tendency for your the, the edges of your skin to pull together, to mm -hmm. want to pull themselves so together, together to heal. Yes, immediately. So that's regenerating for mm -hmm. the skin tissue. Okay. So, but that simple effect in the spine. It's kind of a negative effect. It's like a degenerative okay. process just begins to occur. That, that pulling affects the structure. structure. It affects the inner, the, the digs between, and the structure. It, it continues to degenerate when nothing is done about it. Mm. So that adjustment sends a message first to the spine itself okay. to stop what it was doing to destroy Sorry. itself. Okay. Then, as you continue your treatment, a new process commences, which is actually regenerative. Okay. Allow your own body to heal itself. Okay. So you don't you don't get to adjust yourself. They say you should see. A licensed uh, chiropractor, okay. you understand, a chiropractic physician mm. that will be able to work in this in this way for you in this in this regard, this treatment modality. Yes. Then of course you now include other um, adjunct therapies like, like you know, we talk about myofascial release, release, specialized treatment it's, it's a specialized massage, not the regular massage, massage okay. the myofascial release, what we call joint mobilization, okay. and your trigger point therapy. All of these are sending messages to your body, body. to do the right thing, to start mm. to heal itself. So, it's so like the results are mind blowing actually. Mm. Right. And we know a lot of people off surgeries. Okay. Then of course we still recommend, you know, just being aware your know, home therapy thing, things that should be aware of thing, to you know pre you know, kind of avoid Absolutely. doing those things that affect it. Okay. Of course, the traumatic incidents, you can't help it. But there's one thing I wanted to say, you know, when I say traumatic incidents, incidents yes. you don't plan for it. So when it happens, mm. most times people just go go and just, just say they, they are fine. When they go to the hospitals and say, okay, there's no, no broken bone, nothing mm. like that. But once you've had that in incident mm. in your life, just know that constantly always go, just go for, you know, get to make a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. to just keep on checking your spine. You know, spinal hygiene, hygiene measures to okay. make sure it doesn't come. Because the body had already started before that you realize it over okay. time. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, doctor, for this. Your depth pleasure, analysis. Thank pleasure. you so we much for joining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we would still have you more because there are just so much that we still need to discuss. I've That's got right. more questions to ask, but mm. my producer is telling me that my time is up and oh. we need to get <laughs> rolling. Thank you so much, Dr. Omar, for joining my us on pleasure, today's edition of Thank Health so Guide. Much. Yes. So, um, in the next edition, hopefully you might be seeing me or be seeing Queen Agaba on that note to be joined the cutting and take it easy on yourself. If you're going to the gym, don't overdo it. Take it easy so you don't lose any part of your body. My name is Samuel Odi. Until next time, you have a great day ahead.